Video games today are, they differ from video games of the past. I mean, back then, you had your regular Nintendo, NES, and your Sega, and you just played either one-player games or uh, you had somebody come over and it was just two-player and you just sat next to them and played the game. Uh, nowadays, games are being played online. Um, you have the Xbox Live, which you have to pay for. You have PlayStation Network for the PS3. That one's free. And even the Wii offers some games that are uh, compatible with playing online. One of the games that comes to my mind is uh, World of Warcraft. Um, I've never played the game, but from what I understand, you form guilds with uh, random people, and you go out and you look for things, or you know, you power your character up, and you even fight other guilds, or you fight with guild other guilds and fight these other guilds, and it's very popular, and it's probably one of the longest running games ever. Um, also, two games can be used to solve real world problems. Uh, for example, there's um, a world without oil, and basically you just try to figure out you know how to survive without oil and you know to me these kind of tools are very helpful basically it's just trial and error and you work with these people you know you work with random people to, for a common goal virtual reality is a simulation of reality um, in my opinion it's a very useful tool and the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, you know these companies they'll if they're gonna make something like for example like an airport they'll sit there and they'll work out you know all the problems on you know virtual reality like you know for example like parking or you know like any kind of traffic problems or anything to do with the area and they'll go out and you know they'll show these you know these companies that you know these could be the problems and they're all worked out so that way when they finally do build it it'll come out smooth and you know there'll be no problems in reality <clears throat> another example of a virtual reality would be second life um, it's you know a multiplayer game but you don't actually play with people for a common goal but you're just kind of going out and living a life that you don't live today I think second life allows people to live a life that they can't live in reality so it allows them to go out and just do what they want and be whoever they want to be and they can go places that they've never been and see things that they've never seen or things that they wouldn't see in real life uh... there's repercussions uh... with this new media that we have um, i think some of the repercussions would be the tools that we have i mean we have digital cameras, digital camcorders, and cell phones. Um, the problem is that you know you could be out anywhere doing anything. You could be driving down the street and you see a celebrity, you know, in a car crash or getting beat up, and you know you could take pictures and you can capture it on a video and you know upload it right to the computer or right to the internet, you know, and it's immediate. And you know basically there's no privacy for you know anybody look at Tiger Woods I mean when that all went down there was you know TMZ and you know all these television stations that were in his face and all up in his business you know like right when it happened it was all over the internet it was a big story and you know that's just that's just the problem that there's really no privacy and you know everything is real immediate According to the Carr article, he poses the question, is Google making us stupid? Um, in my opinion, I would say no, because, I mean, if you look at it, Google is huge, and it's, you know, full of information, and it's all at your fingertips, and it's all immediate. I mean, <laughs> the other day, I was just messing around and just typing things in on Google, and I found out they made a sequel to a Christmas Story. I never knew it, but I don't, would I have known it if there wasn't Google? probably not or somebody would have told me like you know later on but um, but in my opinion I'd say Google isn't making us stupid 
If anything, it's just enhancing our lives. And to kind of wrap up everything, um, to me the future of new media is really up in the air. Um, there's really a million different ways you can go. It's, I mean, websites are going to be evolving. To me, like I stated in my blog, that you know there's going to be a, a Walmart-esque type website where it has you know all your videos, all your pictures, you know all your friends and it's going to be like a big Facebook like Walmart and it's really going to provide the user just one website to where you can do everything on and you'd have to factor in virtual reality I mean to me it's not at its maturity level yet but I think you know once it evolves and we can use it correctly it's going to be a very very useful tool for the future you got me saying, hey, oh, I'm tired of using technology, why don't you sit down on top of me?